Um, so she wrote about this, her god who is Channamalli Karjuna, who is also known as Shiva. Shiva is the god of dance. And so she talks about how she is in love with him and it is all very spiritual yet, yet very sensuous. So in lot of Indian aesthetic um, theories, the spiritual and the sensuous go together. It is not a, oh if something is so sensuous it can't be spiritual mm -hmm. so it is a blend of the two so it blended the, cl the classes together instead of just the brahmin uh, inventing some of these things or yeah it's more it became more egalitarian yes Very good. Yeah. well that's that's, that's so good. that was the uh, movement so in that time she wrote this poem about shiva so a lot of her poems are very m mystical and very lyrical so she's actually one of the most lyrical poets from that time so she writes about her love for this man or this god whatever you want to that spirit so that's called channa mallikarjuna so she's always singing about him that how when she held his hand he disappeared it's a it's very philosophical yet it's how you can't really reach the mm -hmm. the divine and sometimes yes you can reach it but it just yeah so the that kind of anil could you tell us about um the, the same kind of thing, uh, for instance, um, I guess a certain um, martial arts, what it would mean for an individual person who may be represented there too, and, and how that, like Aparna just told us, how it, uh, you know, equates to, um, you know, a certain person, kind of person, whatever, your, your dance there. Yeah, this martial arts actually uh, based on some religious things, it's called uh, Nairs, is one of the religions called Nairs. In uh, 16th, 17th century, Nayas developed this form more for a public, this martial arts. But we used very nicely this uh, encounter, very beautifully, Avarna put it together in her piece, very beautifully. Okay. So, so the form uh, itself is very old, you know, the Kalari Payatu, yeah. uh, but we don't directly take that and put it in the production. Right. It's more we modify them, okay. like we contemporarize the style. Of movement. Nice um, interviewing you, Apana, and you, Anil, and we hope that you will come see them. And again, their next show is, we'll just say it right now. When's S the next show? Okay. September 24th and 25th, and October 1 and 2. And They're all Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Dance Complex in Cambridge, 536 Mass Ave. Very Cambridge. good. Cambridge. Yeah. Go and see them. And you can also check our thing at the website. Okay. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed that interview as much as I did. It was very informative. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Aparna and Anil. And now, viewers, I'm sure you're dying to see a sneak preview of one of their exclusive performances. Let's roll the video.
Viewers, I hope you learned a lot about the Kalari, a classical martial arts Indian dance form from Kerala.